I don't know. I don't really, I don't really think about the whole one leg thing when I'm doing the sports. It's kind of whatever. I like sports so much that it's like, well, you have one leg, you have one leg. It's just doing it for the love of sports. I'd rather be involved in sports no matter what I look like or what anyone else looked like because sports is what makes me happy and actually kind of takes my mind off of things. Especially with soccer, the whole um, being on a team. Uh, I'd rather be on a team and have the team effort and team bonding. They're actually probably some of my best friends I've ever had and they make me feel actually complete and not like I'm the weird outside kid that um, nobody really wants to talk to. In addition to her drive to be an athlete, Hannah hopes to inspire other youngsters. People, but I would actually want to inspire younger amputees, and I would actually want to try to make them feel like it's okay that uh, you can actually get out of your box, and you really just don't have to live up to what society says that little amputees have to be, and that's just because you have one leg, you have to sit at home and not do anything. I know everybody all has dreams, and for for someone to have dreams but then be put back just because they're missing a leg that they don't deserve that nobody does hannah's biggest fan is probably her mom d o'brien who is now watching her daughter compete for a state championship in her final semester of high school it's more than pride it's it's just that deep in your soul feeling that your child is living and breathing and moving and doing and being a part of every day. Um, I think that's what any parent wants for their kid. But when you have a child that uses equipment to um, make their everyday happen, there's days that you just wonder how's this going to work. And um, it's it's more than work. She's um, she's doing it. <laughs> she's doing it. It's like an extension of yourself. It's watching like another part of your heart doing something that you didn't know if that heart would ever be able to do. You believed it, you prayed so, you wanted it. And then you watch them do it and it's, um, it's kind of powerful.